Greetings, my little lovelies. I hope I find you all well again and feeling as usual. Tick, 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 tickety boo. Now, I myself have not been feeling tickety boo the past two or three days. I don't know why. Don't know what it is. It's one of those times when everything is like, uh, uh, and you're fed up with everything and everyone, and it's like, uh, but I felt like that in the past, and I know it will, it will go away, and tomorrow's a new day. Um, why I'm sharing this with you, I have no idea. It just came out as soon as I clicked film. Um, right, let's get on. Um, I've got a film for you, and it's all about the devil. And does he exist or does he not? Mm. Will this uh, bring stuff out of you? Will it bring comments, um, good or bad? I don't mind, good or bad. Just keep them clean, okay? Um, I'm not sure what the devil's name is. I think it might be Julian. Whether we call him Satan or Lucifer or by whatever other name comes to mind or whether we are just too afraid to speak his name at all. Many people are concerned about the devil and evil. Is the devil real? Can he assume different shapes? And how much power does he have? After all, if God is all powerful, how could the devil have rebelled against him and taken up dominion here on earth? The Bible taken literally clearly states the devil exists. Satan is mentioned in 47 passages. The devil is mentioned in 33 more. He is described as one who tempted Adam and Eve into the original sin in the Garden of Eden. He is the one who tempted Jesus Christ while he was in the desert. Now some people don't believe the Bible literally true. When they ask, is the devil real, they must rely more on personal experiences in the world and stuff that has happened to them. No one can deny that there is evil in the world. I mean, just take a look around right here, right now, in this time, and you will see. But how are we to discern whether this is simply the result of human nature, as opposed to evidence of some, how shall we say, outside evil force at work. Here again it is interesting to look at the way Satan worked in the Bible and compare that with the issues we face right here, right now, in your and mine day-to-day -day living. When Satan tempted Jesus, he appealed to three things. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life. First he challenged Jesus after a 40 day fast to use his powers to make food and satisfy himself in his tummy. Then he challenged Jesus to look at the world from a high place and offered him power over everything he saw. Finally he tempted him to throw himself down from a tower, saying that surely if you are God's son you would be saved. That appeals to our pride. Whatever temptations we face they seem to fall into these categories as well. Pornography, adultery, gluttony, all appeal to lusts of the flesh. Materialism and the quest for power appeal to the lust of the eyes. And even as we strive to reach spiritual heights, we are threatened with the sinful pride of believing that we, humans, are really important. More important than those that made us more important than God. Perhaps the devil doesn't appear to us in person. Perhaps he doesn't run around with a, a pitchfork and with horns and a fork tail like we've seen in Hollywood blockbusters. But we may feel that he is there by the way he acts, just as the way we know a skunk is near through its horrible smell. Is the devil real? Do you feel him sometimes in your real life? That is the question. Welcome back, my little lovelies. So, the devil. Yes or no? Does he exist? Can he 
if he does exist, hold influence over you. I'm sure we've all been tempted to behave sometimes and say something in anger. Um, is the devil behind that? Who knows? If the devil does exist, then I guess we have to also think of the guy upstairs. Um, if you believe in the devil, then surely you must also accept that uh, there are other forces as well. Um, but as usual, like I always say to you guys, yeah, we make the videos, we put them out there for you, and we let you guys decide. We don't try to force anything on you whatsoever. We just uh, we just make them and throw them at you and let you decide um, what's what. Now that's all from me from now. Until next time, I hope you all take care. I hope you all stay safe. And until next time, ta-ta, my little lovelies. Ta-ta. Ta-da!